Over the years, Mark Ruffalo has had his fair share of celeb-style cribs. These include a stunning townhome in Brooklyn, New York, and a Hollywood Hills estate that was more on the modest side but ended up selling to another actress after some years. These days, Mark prefers to live a lower-key lifestyle in a New York farm town with his family near the Delaware River. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into earlier this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're actually up to. Oh. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mark Ruffalo is an American actor who's had one of the longest and most successful stretches of consistency in recent Hollywood history. Known for his number of critically acclaimed roles in films like Zodiac, Spotlight, and Shutter Island, Mark is also famous for portraying Dr. Bruce Banner for the MCU in films like Avengers and and Thor Ragnarok. And while starring in the biggest blockbuster movie franchise in Hollywood history might have you thinking that Mark is your typical everyday superstar, he's really anything but. Most of the time, Mark stays hidden well away from the spotlight by living in an unconventional place with his wife and three kids, a blue collar farming community located in an upstate New York town known as Calicoon. However, in the past, Mark has owned a couple other homes that were less off the grid. For instance, in 2015, he bought a 19th century townhouse located in Brooklyn, New York. And prior to that, at what was more or less the offset of his career, he owned a quaint Hollywood Hills house that he bought for $1.65 million. He would live here for five years before offloading it to actress Zoe Deschanel. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Mark Ruffalo calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Video. We're going to begin with Mark's earliest real estate purchase. Back in 2004, he and his wife Sunrise found this single story, three bedroom, three bath starter property in the neighborhood of Hollywood Hills, which they then spent $1.65 million on. By far Mark's most glamorous property, this home was originally built in 1933 and boasts a detached guest house just behind the garage. It sits on half an acre of land with just under 3,000 square feet of space inside of the main residence. Residence. A long walk up from a gated driveway will bring visitors across the lawn, right up to a shaded courtyard and the home's front door, which back when Mark was living here, had a red surfboard right next to it, leaning against the side of the house. Stepping through that colorful red brick patio and into the main house, you'll find a cozy front foyer with some polished hardwood floors. A long hallway connects this entry to a bright and airy living room, which boasts a cross beam ceiling and a massive brick fireplace. Doors located on either side of this formal looking living room lead out to both the front patio and to a backyard garden. Back in the living room, a set of stairs leads up to the formal dining room, which features a tray ceiling and includes similar access to the exterior spaces. Over in the remodeled kitchen, it offers patterned blue and white tile floors, a handcrafted stove, as well as white marble countertops with backsplash and a long butcher block topped center island. There are even some brass faucets and handles to help give the space a chic feel, while not far from there is an elegant corner window lined breakfast banquette that no doubt served Mark well for some family meals while his kids were still very young. Located on the complete opposite end of the home is the colorful and fun master suite that boasts a white painted wood ceiling, crown molding, and leaf patterned wallpaper. The ensuite bath is also charming with its periwinkle blue walls and cabinets as well as its deep spa style marble bath and separate glass fronted shower. Rounding out the home's amenities is a sunroom with custom millwork and banquette seating, a recording studio as well as a library with its very own brick fireplace alongside built in bookshelves and seats. I don't know about you guys but I would have a tough time moving on from a home this nice and yet that's exactly what Mark did with his family in 2000. And he would sell it to actress Zoe Deschanel for the exact same amount they paid for it in the first place, $1.65 million. By all accounts, Mark decided to sell this home and move his family to a more blue collar working environment. 
But before we get to that home, I want to take a look at the Brooklyn townhouse that Mark briefly owned on a couple of years ago. Located in an area known as Carroll Gardens, a low-key brownstone filled neighborhood that dates back to 1899, Mark's very own townhouse set him back around $3.5 million when he purchased it in 2015. This 16 foot wide property has been configured as a four story single family home with four bedrooms as well as three bathrooms all rolled up in a about 3,200 square feet of space. Built at the turn of the 20th century, this home keeps a number of period architectural details that no doubt interested Mark a great deal when he first bought it. These include hand-carved wood doors, plaster moldings, and ceiling medallions, not to mention several marble mantelpieces. Beyond a cozy and comfy looking living room, the home also boasts a nice kitchen with marble countertops, a lengthy island, and a host of stainless steel appliances. But perhaps the most notable feature is that it also opens up at the back to a sunroom with some gorgeous looking French doors. As for the two upper floors, they each have a hall bathroom of their own as well as two good sized bedrooms each, one of which includes a private balcony while the three other offer decorative marble fireplaces. Of course, this being Brooklyn and all, there's not much in the way of exterior spaces, but stairs do lead from that outdoor balcony to the yard down below, where there's a sunny blue stone paved terrace lined by trees and greenery. However, all the history in this place could only keep Mark interested for so long. Only a year and a half after buying the home, he decided to relist it and then sold the property at a bit of a loss by only getting $3.1 million for it in 2017. But to be honest, I don't think that bothered Mark all that much, not only because he was already making Mark money by that point in time, but also because his heart has always been elsewhere. More specifically, a farming community in what's known as New York's Sullivan County. So let's head there next. Mark and his family spend most of their time living on a 50 acre plot of land in upstate New York, which at one point used to be a dairy farm and is situated right beside the Delaware River in a town known as Calicoon, which has a population of just under 3,000. Mark and his wife bought this property at a steal for only $280,000 back in 2001 and originally used it as a getaway from Tinseltown. But after selling their family home in Hollywood, they decided to make this their permanent residents. When speaking with Nowness about this decision, Mark told them, The whole guiding idea for living upstate was to simplify. We asked ourselves, what do we need all this for? What is it adding to our lives? What's more, Mark thought it was important that his three children, Keen, Bella, and Odette, learned what it was like to live a life outside the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. While speaking with The Guardian, he revealed about his family's neighborhood, It's pretty much a blue-collar community, a farming community. I want my kids to have that experience. But Mark and his brood would get more than they bargained for when they came to realize that their home sits on top of the Marcellus Shale Bed, which is believed to be one of the world's richest sources of hydrocarbons like natural gas and petroleum. With that being the case, oil and gas companies have been lobbying the local government to allow them to frack there, which is something Mark is opposed to. Mark has always been someone who's willing to stand up for the causes that he believes in. And these days, you can find him doing what he can to bring a halt to the expansion of grass drilling. All that being said, and considering this is Mark's main family home, details on the interior are practically non-existent. What little we do know of it comes from that same interview with Nowness, where Mark revealed that his home boasts a few amenities, like a vegetable garden, a barn, and an eco-friendly guest house. Things we probably could have guessed on our own, considering the location and Mark's passions. The most interesting insight he revealed about his family residence is that the front porch has been decorated with a bunch of items that are meaningful to his family. This includes a giant carved bear that was a gift from a local artist and friend named Forrest Myers. Mark's wife Sunrise took that bear and created what she likes to call a living collage on the family's front porch with a root chair that was also from a local artist and an old-fashioned 
milk canister that's been filled with walking sticks. And while this might have been the last place you'd imagine a big time star like Mark Ruffalo to be living, if you actually take the time to get to know him and his story, it's kind of hard to imagine him living anywhere else. Well, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close, so thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know what you thought about Mark's homes in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to turn on your notifications. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!